All right, Scorpio, we're going to jump into the reading. We're going to jump into your single read and see what we have here. So if this does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this a big thumbs up here on the channel. But if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist linked below in the description, okay? All right, so thank you, angels. Thank you, universe. And thank you, Lord, the highest power that we do have. All right? So let's get entwined with the energy. Let's see what we have for Scorpio singles. What's the energy for Scorpio singles? What's the energy for Scorpio singles? The fools. So I feel like you're definitely wanting to jump into something new, Scorpio. Um, I feel like this has been a challenge for you because a lot of you have been going through transformation changes, especially relationships come into an halt, like an end finding out a certain situation, knowing that, you know, a lot of energies are not fulfilling you and now you want a new beginning. A lot of you just want a new beginning. You want to travel. You want to just embrace new energies. And this is something that you are very free about. This is something that you're excited about. And you just feel like in a, the, the next couple of weeks, there is going to be like this new beginning for you. You know, this new, exciting, um, passionate, like, life for you that is coming up something that you haven't experienced yet um i don't feel like this is going to be something that is going to be negative because you're moving forward out of a situation that you have been in for a very long time and i'm seeing like you're trying to move forward and not take anything anything that you have experienced back into this new beginning that you're planning for yourself so um you're not thinking about the past you're like okay thank you i have learned from it you know what happened it's good it's everything um and i'm just gonna move forward and you're not trying to proceed with caution either you know nothing around you right now is negative you know when it comes to this energy when it comes to this thought within your mind that something new is going to occur because you're making it happen too for those of you you're either thinking about it planning about it or living it at this moment okay then you have the two of swords here that's also so you're definitely making a choice you know you're coming to a, a decision here and this is something that happened in the past as well you found out something and you're like making peace you're not even trying to like break bridges you're making peace and trying to deal with this in a positive light as much as possible then you have the wheel of fortune okay and you also have the five of pentacles so a lot of financial matters here this is what i'm seeing that you're dealing with in the upcoming weeks it's like you're trying to do what you want to do which is have a new beginning for some of you move to a new place um to just start over but there is some money issues here that you need to start out there are some things from in the past that is lingering that you don't want you don't want to continue to you know deal with and you're trying to you know just move on in a positive light here but i feel like a lot of you might be trying to run away from a lot of things for this wheel of fortune to actually show up which is coming back around like yeah you feel really good that this is a new chance for you to like you know be in a more positive light um in a positive environment but at the same time you cannot run away from situations that you need to deal with you know a lot of you might be feeling like you don't have the strength to move forward you don't have the strength to go back and deal with a conversation or deal with some kind of connection and you're trying to move forward right a lot of you might be ending a job really suddenly and you're not really thinking about um how what how is this going to affect you in the future because you need money to survive right you need money to pay the bills you need money to eat you need money to do unfortunately almost everything instead of um breathing right so and even in some of those cases when it comes to you know having lung issues and breathing you need oxygen you need to buy these things so you know there is a form of like this five of pentacles being here you know um that you need to solve you don't need to you cannot run away from it because it's going to follow you so i'm seeing like there's a new beginning coming up for you you're trying to do this you're trying to like you know um heal from a lot of things as much as you can and knowing the facts knowing what happened here and you're not even upset about it so you're not trying to be upset about it even though you were blinded with a lot of things so i'm feeling like you you've been treated unfairly here and this is why you're trying to like okay it happened but i'm i'm trying to move forward i'm trying to move forward 
but there's so many things that you need to tie up you know especially if you guys have loans okay if you guys have um, situations that you sign for someone you put your name on something and now you're responsible for it you know I feel like this could be even you know the affections that you have with other people connections you're like you know you're giving yourself or you're giving these people a lot of your energy and giving a lot out of you like giving a lot to these people look at this hand you know giving a lot and no one is trying to hold you no one is trying to reach back out to you no one is trying to be there for you you know in this energy so Look out for this, you guys. This is something constant that is coming up. This is what I'm hearing. This is something that you have to deal with. Um, it's not yet over. Then you have the victory and the six of wands. So just know that you're going to be okay if you stay on track. Okay. I feel like you're on the way to accomplishing so many things that you want and to experience this accomplishment as well. A lot of you, um, this is like, what is it? What, it? what does that say that I'm seeing? This is, it took long enough. Like, you know, you've been waiting for this, you know, but there's a lot of responsibilities on your back. So therefore, if you need help, make sure you're asking for help, whether it is work, whether it is home situation, you feel like you're carrying a load of responsibilities on your back. You feel heavy. You, this is not healthy. And I'm hearing like you need to, it's okay to ask for help, to ask for assistance. It's okay. You're not alone. You do have people that will actually help you through this time. And it's time to take back your powers. Time to speak up is you've been quiet for way too long. Singles. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. And I feel like you're in that form of energy of taking back your power as well, especially with people taking advantage of you in the 10 of pentacles. I'm not 10 of pentacles. Oh my God. 10 of wands here. It's like I'm getting this vibe that you were taking up a lot of responsibility, especially in the five of pentacles. Okay, this could be your home. That you were taking up a lot of responsibility and trying to make things seem like everything was easy on the outside. But actually, you know, people are taking advantage of you. So you need to be careful with this energy. Okay, so we have... I feel like you're working overtime. You're working really hard. And it's because a lot of you don't want to go home. You don't want to go back in a negative situation. You don't want to go back to the past. This is what I'm hearing. The past. You don't want to deal with that. You want to put that behind you. Okay. You want to change a new beginning, especially with this Wheel of Fortune too. You want a change. All right, singles. I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles. So there's a similar energy coming through. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the King of Wands. And then we have the magician in reverse. So I feel like there is some negativity around you. There's some harsh words that were said. Um, there was someone that is trying to keep you down. Okay. You're trying to better yourself and there's an energy that's trying to keep you down. All right. And I feel like you, you felt like you made the wrong decision helping this person or even connecting with them. Okay. But you still feel like you want to be able to be this nurturing, kind person that wants to give, wants to be opened up, wants to not, you know, have any harsh feeling of what happened with these lies and the betrayal that came to light. A lot of you found out that a lot of people around you wasn't even you know what you thought they were because there was a lot of gossip there's a lot of whispering there was a lot of like playing tricks behind your back and things came up to the surface whether or not you try to find out about the situation or someone came and told you about this immaturity this person that appears to be this grown masculine energy and when i say masculine this could be a female this could be a male but someone that is immature that is around you think that they have some kind of a control over you um is playing a victim Victim is playing like, you know, I've been through so much in my life and look where I am now kind of energy. And they're so immature. It's like this energy that I'm picking up. You guys is someone that does not want to deal with any kind of situation here. And then we're getting like this person is their tongue is quite dirty. So you need to protect yourself and make sure that you're blessing your body. Make sure you're blessing your environment. Make sure you're blessing everything, especially if you have a lot of friends coming in and out of your house or a lot of energies coming in and out of your space the, the, the space that you sleep okay because this person is quite 
it's like when it comes to spirituality they kind of look towards the darkness you know so be very careful and your energy is all over the place with this with this energy as well because you feel like you know what you you care about them you care about them you want to, to see the best for them you want to be in this person's life this is what I'm feeling but you're trying to find out like why this person is doing this to you in the magician why this person have such harsh feelings towards you why is this person saying bad things towards you and bad words towards you planting negative seeds towards you so jealous of you and causing you to be ill causing you to be sick causing you not to eat not to take care of yourself because you care about this person so much you know and a lot of you need to like really check yourself out because of this person's energy okay um i don't feel like they want the best for you this is what i'm seeing here it's all about them really okay then we have the six of pentacles in reverse we have the three of swords so you're going through a lot of healing with this heartbreak and it really hurts you i'm feeling like someone can't speak you guys like something is holding them back from saying what they must you know i do feel like you're going to stand up for yourself and this is like an energy that is like it is it was missing for quite a while you know this is what i'm feeling and now you're finally like not taking the bull crap or the nonsense anymore around you especially when it comes to this energy trying to get something from you singles okay tell me more yeah look at that the empire in empire empire <laughs> the emperor in reverse this person i kind of felt this energy already because i saw the king of wands in reverse and it's a similar energy you know this person is not a leader they're a follower you know they're a follower they don't know how to lead but i feel like they're they're making you feel like um it's like i'm getting like this this energy is kind of like beaten up but at the same time they lost everything within their lives within their circle and for some reason you it's like they want you to feel that pain instead of talking to someone about it oh and this is happening very quickly with this energy that's coming through it's like they're coming through with this eries energy that's in reverse have you ever seen an eries in reverse you guys not pretty okay so they're coming with coming towards you trying to control you trying to hold on to you trying to have you like you know listen to them it's all about listening to them they feel like they're loved and appreciated when you take their advice when you listen to them when you do what they say you know it's a must to be with this person and this is happening very quickly and a lot of you are like hold on how did this even happen and i feel like this person is coming to you with some kind of attraction okay if this is intimate if this is someone from your past that is coming up as well they feel some kind of deep connection they want a new beginning with you but just know if this person comes into your life they're going to give you the same energy that they gave you before i don't feel like i see any changes within this person's energy okay when it comes to learning but you on the other hand your first card is definitely a new beginning here you want a new beginning you want a change you don't want to think of the past and think of things that you have been through and the struggles that you have been through okay so tell me more okay so we have mystery so there is something going on again behind your back that you're on your way to find out and i feel like it's a lot to do with this lie and betrayal that you know you have been dealing with <clears throat> hmm listen to your intuition you guys i'm hearing power this person is trying to take your power again i feel like this is eerie's energy okay very stubborn energy by the way very very stubborn energy You're trying to take your power trying to have some kind of power struggle with you I, I also see gemini aquarius and libra energy as major cards here okay i do see cancer virgo and gemini again so gemini is coming out strong here and along with uh, and and leo as well not leo um it could be leo but i'm seeing aries okay aries coming out really strong so things are going to be revealed to you so hold on to something. This is what I'm hearing. Hold on to something. 
the truth is coming out protect yourself and also the death so there's going to be an end in here between you and this person i'm also seeing scorpio's energy and then i'm seeing set healthy boundaries you guys time to set healthy boundaries because healthy boundaries wasn't set before this is what i'm hearing like healthy boundaries wasn't set in this connection and this is why this person feels like they have some kind of power over you you need to stand up for yourself okay and i feel like when this happens and everything is coming to the surface you're going to also be able to move on i feel like this person is always going to be thinking about you you're always going to be on their mind i feel like for some reason this person do want to be successful you know do want to be successful but i'm also seeing scorpio there's a lot of things that are happening for you financially um something about a new position that you're going to be getting so and your your victory you're having your victory and this is kind of like what's going on in the midst of this five of pentacles i'm also seeing the midst of success midst of success so the, there's a, a a huge form of coldness around you with this five of pentacles like people are just not giving anything back but the angels are really rewarding you you know with other things so look out for this energy thank the universe for it but your enemies are actually seeing this seeing this happen because you're having like a whole new environment coming towards you okay it could be a job offer you guys that i'm seeing there's some kind of traveling like you're going to be something is going to take off something is going to take off okay watch out for your power this person wants to like make you lose your power in the nine of pentacles because they really depend on some kind of form of income some kind of form of dependency with you your energy something about even an environment you are the one that like brought them into this environment and without you they're not really welcomed i'm getting that form of energy you guys i'm getting like this energy around you is not a, a confident one they're not confident within themselves and this is the main issue here so singles watch out for this this is what i'm seeing for you i hope this resonates if it does you know what to do like this video give this video a big thumbs up here scorpio your energy is here okay but leo not leo i keep thinking of leo so you know with this um element here leo um Aries, sag energy for some of you could be dealing with a leo because that keeps coming out of my mouth in the in the wheel of fortune i'm seeing leo at the very top of that as well so with this lion looking back at me <laughs> okay i don't know if you guys can see it it's like wow leo's energy so listen okay watch out for this energy and i'll see you guys in your next one bye singles